Hi, this is vlog number two out of 18, I hope. Um, this is a, my weekly update on my upcoming trip to Disney World, which first thing I want to say is that I was a little over exuberant last week and it's still up in the air as to whether I'm definitely going because the short version is um, the money that my husband offered was money I gave him for his birthday last year so that he could go somewhere and he hasn't used it yet so he won't, he says you know why don't you just pay me back and that's wonderful um, personally I want to wait until I'm sure I can pay him back so I don't have to earn everything to make it to the um, to the trip before I go but I want to earn enough that I can be reasonably certain that I'll be able to pay the rest back so I'm gonna keep updating and you know as if I'm actually going for sure and hopefully I am <laughs> but uh, might not um, just to clarify for anybody who doesn't know my part-time job is as a travel agent and uh, I uh, I work on commission, there are no fees, so if you want to, um, I can hook you up with a vacation and uh, to Disney World or elsewhere, and just let me know, but that's not going to be the purpose of these vlogs, that's just kind of me saying, you know, <laughs> mini advertisement. Anyway, purpose of the vlogs, my planning. So, um, first of all, I want to say, uh, this past week for my birthday, I ordered a couple of Disney bows, one for me, one for my daughter. Well, technically both for my daughter, but when we go to Disney World, we'll each wear one. So, these were made by, um, at Real Life Disney on Twitter. Um, this is the Snow White one, and this is the bell one and I uh, will put the URL to her Etsy shop in the comments. I just I like them. I like helping people out with, you know, um, startup businesses. So I thought a little free advertising wouldn't hurt anybody. So I was gonna model them but um, it's really humid today and my hair looks awful. So I don't wanna really draw more attention to it than I just did. So um, but great bows for sale, very good prices um, their barrettes on the back. So, this is, did I say what they are? Snow White and Belle, I think I said, but just in case. Um, mm. The other thing that I did this week, basically, was, um, so one of my big planning things is I keep a shoebox under my bed, and uh, throughout the year I add, like, little travel items to it if I know I have a trip coming up. So I thought I would share what's in my box so far, and uh, this isn't everything yet. If you have further suggestions, um, you can leave them in the comments. Something that you think one should never leave without. Um, I'll just go through them quick. A leave for headaches. I have a lot of shampoo, travel shampoo. This is actually lotion, shea butter lotion. And then I have foot lotion, menthol, peppermint foot lotion. Um, spray sunblock and squishy cream sunblock. This is mint gel, which is actually now um, liquid because <laughs> it's so old. Um, Gold Bond foot powder, toothpaste, Muppet band aids, tissues. Uh, antibacterial hand gel, shampoo and conditioner, and of course you have to stock up on the Disney soap and conditioner and shampoo. I have two. One important thing to know is if you're going to the campsites, you're not in an actual cabin, um, they will not provide these. I asked the last time I was there and um, you do have to buy your own or bring your own shampoo. So just as a warning, that's one of the very few, very small drawbacks of the campsites at Fort Wilderness that you can't stock up. So even though I'm going, it's going to be a while before I can snag more of these. I, I don't consider it stealing, but my husband says it is. <laughs> but by my standards, they expect you to take these. These are little freebies. There are other things that would be stealing, but I don't, I don't think the soaps are. But that's just me. And so, like I said, leave me your comments with anything else that you think is a 
must bring. I'm definitely going to be adding to that. That's just what I've got so far. And finally, um, I was thinking about restaurants we're going to go to. And to save money, I'm planning on mostly just counter service and bringing a lot of our own snacks. But I did think it would be fun to splurge one day and uh, do a, a character breakfast. And I'm thinking Crystal Palace. And um, so what do you think? I'm definitely going to be doing a Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party, and it's going to be the same day. So Crystal Palace or Save the Money. It's not going to be a huge difference in the price, but it's, it's enough of one that I'm, I'm dithering on it. So uh, It's going to be at the Magic Kingdom, probably. There aren't many other um, character breakfasts that I really want to do. I, I thought that would be a good one. I love the decor of that place. So. Uh, thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll have another vlog ready to go next week. Have a great time.